My name is Gradisewa Adusa. My country I've already mentioned as Ghana. My organization is called ECASAD, so Economic Association for Sustainable Agriculture and Rural Development. We have nine countries that comprises of this Western, this African two region. And you can imagine how to go around will be too difficult. We have uh, English and French speaking countries, which I speak only English. So understanding the French people is a problem for me personally. And I am a means of getting funding to travel to other countries to see what they are doing is also a big challenge to me. Women articulation in Central personally is a means of meeting maybe at least three times a year. We only have meetings about one or that is all because of funding. And when you call, when you WhatsApp, when you email, the response coming is uh, also not readable because of uh, the languages. You send English, the French people cannot read. When you send uh, French, the English we can also not read. So that is my challenge personally. Another challenge is on production personally. I'm a farmer. I grow cashew. I grow maize and yam. And I have uh, about 50 acres of cashew. When it's bearing fruit and the time for harvesting, I don't get marketing. And uh, the women I'm working with who also come with complaints that they are also not getting marketing. We wanted to know that these uh, processing machines that can help us to add value to the cashew will be of a great importance. If I will get a means from any uh, organization or any benevolent society that can help us to get process, simple processing machines for women in the rural areas to add value to the cashew because we just throw away the fruits. We correct only the nuts. And after correcting the nuts, we just sell it raw. And that is hindering the progress. We don't get money. And as such, we are not able to look after our children the poverty is draining the women, me as well. We want to do away with the, the middle women who come to the farmers, give us loans when uh, the farming season is off, just to keep us alive. And when it, uh, after farming and I harvest, I need to pay this money with interest. And the middle women who come to buy are those people who decide the price for me, which is very bad because my price goes with the, the what goes into the farming is of the cost. But the, the person who is coming to buy doesn't know the cost, but she will determine the price for me. It's not helping me to grow as a, to be able to live with other class of women in my country as a woman. Now, I will say that the media too, we need to get money to engage the media. Media engagement goes a long way to promote our whatever we are producing. People want to buy, but they don't know that you are producing a how. If you have the media house, they will go, we, will, we want to engage them, tell our story, so that they will be able to promote the rural women in my country as well. Government. What can the government also do for us, for the women that I'm working with? The women are always crying because of poor road infrastructure and poverty, no loans to expand farms. We talk of family farming, which is very small, and the family of six or seven depends on this family farm. And what can we do? I don't have land to use as a collateral. I don't have a house to use as a collateral. I will be depending on my husband's land. After the death of my husband, the people of that, the husband family will drive me away with my children. And it has caused a lot of havoc in Ghana because the children will grow up. If I don't have any means of taking good care of them, 
the girls will enter into prostitution and the boys will indulge themselves in social vices such as alcohol, such as drug addicts, such as armed robbery, which is very much on the rampage in Ghana. Rape defilement for young girls is a concern that needs to be taken up generally. I am afraid that in future, the feeding of our nations are going to be in a chaos because people will not go into farming. The young ones are always running away. Migration is killing our young ones from Africa. You have heard it all over. Ghana, a lot of boys, young boys and girls, are dying in the Mediterranean Sea with the hope of going to uh, Italy, Europe, to find a greener pasture where there is no work there for them. They don't understand the language. They are last put in a, a camp like refugees, and they are there. Some who die on the sea, we don't hear about them. The parents will be sitting down and crying. My daughter, my son has traveled, my daughter has traveled. I'm not hearing of her. She will be thinking of her, then she will also die and leave the rest of the family. No land, no water, no seed protection. The seed that we are growing now, we don't know where the origin is. You produce and you cannot reproduce again. But before now, women were custodians of seed. We produce our own seed, we protect it, and they replant it. But now the seeds that are coming, we just buy them. Every year you need to go and buy. Where will a rural farmer go to get uh, money to buy seed always? Where are we going to get irrigation for our farming? Because the climate change has changed the weather pattern and the rainfall pattern for farming in our region and in, the, in my country as well. We need a lot of education. We need money for sensitization. We need our government to give a budget for the women to be able to advocate, to be able to look for what is good for women's life and health. So the needs of women are different from the needs of men biologically. So what are we doing to maybe get to the understanding that all men should understand that we are all equal. We need to be treated equally. We respect them, they should also respect us. They should involve rural women in the planning of uh, policies for agriculture. They should involve women in the decision making in families as the culture demands that women are not to be heard. Now there must be a change that women should be involved in decision making. They should be involved in implementation of these decisions. We don't want the idea of the white collar job men and women in big, big cities sitting at the offices and formulating policies for the rural women. They don't know anything about farming. They have never tested it, they have not gone to farm. So it's time that we change these issues and then try to get the women involved in whatever is happening around them. I say the ECASAD, my organization, should give more opportunity for women in leadership, especially in the president uh, role. We have been electing men, men, men to be the president for the past years. Now women should be also encouraged to be able to become president, not only treasurer in the organization. Now Lavia, I would say that I, Lavia should be able to uh, support more of women articulation activities in the various countries and the region as well. It's working at the regional level, but there are no support for the countries in country activities. But now we need to work Lavia to be seen, to be visible. We want the women to be heard, to be known. In all the corners, even in the grassroots, we try to advocate, we try to do things that are 
very good and then we 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 make uh, Lavia proud. <laughs> Avanzan ya 